Hey everyone, this is Dhruveen and in this session we are going to talk about how we can implement try, catch and finally block in Power Automate. So now let's get started. As a programmer, most of the time we have habit that we are writing try, catch and finally block in our coding program. Now, what if, if we need to implement similar mechanism in Power Automate? How can we achieve try, catch and finally block in Power Automate? Let me explain you that thing with the real life example and scenario over here. Now, let me show you one already created flow and then we will go with the step by step procedure for creating a flow. Now, what happened here is for this example, I have taken an example of one of the connector which is get item connector from SharePoint. Now, sometime what happened here is uh, whatever ID that we are providing into get item action, if it is not founded from the list, it will throw item not found exception over here, right? Now, over that, let's say if any item is not found, uh, it will execute my catch block and it will send appropriate email to the owner right and in finally block what I want to manage here is I want to manage like whether my flow has been triggered successfully or not so that thing I wanted to uh, mention as a log file in the excel so this type of flow we are going to create in power automate right so now let me show you step by step procedure over here right so now let me go to uh, creating a flow and I am creating an instant flow at this moment so I am going to create manually trigger flow at this moment. So let's just give a proper name of your flow that is log file. Right now first of all I wanted to add three different blocks over here try catch and finally. To add this type of blocks you need to use scope option from power automate. So just use scope control over here now rename that as try block. Same way, let's add one more scope and add that as a catch block. And same way, let's add one more scope variable over here and rename that as finally. Right now, I am adding an action of SharePoint get item action. So I'm just searching for get item action of SharePoint. So get item action will give me one item from SharePoint list based on the ID, right? So I'm selecting my SharePoint site and its feedback that is healthcare feedback that is my list. So this is the list structure where I have feedback and ID. Now let's say I'm adding an ID 5 which is not actually present in my SharePoint list. So definitely it will give me an error, right? But before we do that, let me do one thing like whenever this try block has been failed, it will execute the catch block and it will send an email to the owner. So now let me add an action, send an email. I already copied that action from my second flow. So I am selecting send an email. So now let me expand my catch block. So here we have send an email, trigger failed. Uh, the title of the email is trigger failed and the body is something like that right and now what I wanted to do here is in finally block I want to check like whether my flow has been succeed or not now one more thing we need to configure here the catch block will be executed only if try block has some error right so here we need to configure run after action so just click on ellipsis and click on configure run after and from here just select has failed or has timed out so in in this two situation my catch block should be executed rest of the time it should not be executed right now finally is something which is executed whether it's successful or unsuccessful right so here just go to here and configure run after and here we need to select all the actions like whether it's successful or failed or timeout or skipped anytime it should be ran over here right now how can i define like my flow has ran successful or not for that let's maintain one variable over here click on add action and 
click on initialize variable search for initialize variable so I'm just taking initialize variable now we error take it as boolean right now under try block once this action is successful meaning that we are setting error variable as false so just take an action set variable and set my error variable as false from expression just type false right now just copy the same variable over here now in catch if the catch block is executed means that the thing has some error so just select the set variable and inside that let's just mention as true now in the finally block i wanted to capture a log in the excel file where if the flow has triggered successfully i want to add a message like flow trigger successful otherwise i want to mention like something went wrong over here so now how can i do that right i want to maintain my flag in the excel file so in order to do that let's do one thing first create one excel file into onedrive now in order to do that open your onedrive for business over here now just click on new and from there click on excel file now here we just need to mention two things message and date time now i want to consider that as table to maintain a log so select these two tabs and click on insert menu and mark that as table this is my table as header right just click on that so it will consider that as header now from here just rename the file as log file now go to the finally tab and add an action first let's add one if condition if the error is equal to true that means that something went wrong over there right now if error has been occurred we just need to click on excel online connector and we just need to add a row in table so first of all the location of the excel is in my onedrive for business document library is onedrive and we just need to select the file that we just created log.excel now when you open that you will find the table inside the excel so once you select it will show two rows over here now the message would be something went wrong and date time will be added as current date time so let's add the time as UTC now same way here let's select Excel online and add a row into a table select the location that is OneDrive for business library is OneDrive file will be the file that we just created that is the log file and the table will the inside table and after that message flow triggered successfully and date time UTC now right so that has been created now save the flow now let's test the flow so at this time uh, in the try block we have get item with the id 5 which is not present into my sharepoint list and let's check the log file at this moment one entry is already there in the log file right now let's see what it will do so let me just click on test and let's perform the manual trigger action from here and let me just create click on continue option run flow option from here the flow ran has been submitted successfully now let's check the outcome over here so here you can see that we are not finding the item id number 5 over here right so what happened here is this variable not set successfully it executed the catch block and it sent an email to this particular account right now same way at the same time the variable is set as true and now finally block has been executed and inside here it just added one row into the table now let me just refresh our log file at this moment one row is there and you can see that second row has been appeared successfully over here 
right now let me edit my flow again and let me just add appropriate correct id here so let me add id number 17 from here so this id is already present in the list so it will not give us an error right so now let me add the id as 17 from here and now let me just test the flow over here so i'm just going to click on test and click on i will perform a trigger and click on run flow option from here so i'm clicking on run flow here now what happened here is the flow ran successfully here and let's see the dry block has been submitted successfully set variable has set as false and now from here it just added a row into a table like flow triggered successfully so let's check the log file and let's check the output and it has added a row like flow triggered successfully right so this is how the try catch and finally block work into power automate now let's conclude entire flow you can see that we have configured our flow with try catch and finally block here you can see that in initialize variable we have uh, initialize error variable inside try we are getting the item from sharepoint list if we are finding the item successfully it will not execute catch block for that we just configured this run after and here if we are not getting the item from try block we are sending an email to the user and setting one more variable over here and last we are executing the finally block where we are checking if error has been occurred we will add a row into a table with the message that something went wrong otherwise we are say we are typing a message that flow triggered successfully right so this is how we can configure our power automate with try catch and finally block hope you really like this video and if you have any question related to this topic you can add your questions in the comment section or if you have any other request related any concept of power platform you can add your suggestion in the comment section i will happy to make video on those topics if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay tuned with me on facebook linkedin twitter and whatsapp and if you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel just click on this link it will be redirecting you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification on your whatsapp number stay connected with me have a great day goodbye